guest is a humorous speaker and comedian who drove four and a half hours to meet you all tonight. Not even kidding. And she has toured nationally with her Cora Diva tour. So please welcome Lisa Paulson. Stick inside, walk this way, you and me, babe.
We have, okay, we don't have toggle switches. We have the dim switch where you hit it. Let's go up. Did you do that? Let's go up. <laughs> and then you hit the bottom and they go down. Up. Down. My husband probably thought I was trying to get in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't get his attention that way. So at home, my parents say, you know, I'm done house and <laughs> vibration, totally make them look. That's how we communicate it. I go around my house going, <laughs> he's got the damn thing screwed in so tight, I can't even make it look. <laughs> <laughs> Before I got married, though, I dated a lot of hearing guys. I never thought I would marry a deaf guy. Just thought that deaf people were old, like my parents. <laughs> Chicago and, and the goal was, well, while well, dating is to make my neighbors just kind of jealous about the fact that I was being a little oral uh, with um, some sort of promiscuous activity. <laughs> I, I was loud. I, I didn't mind it. I, I thought it was fun. I was an actress, so, you know, if I was faking it, I'd just gotten the character, you know. <laughs> like, ah, ah, ah. It was fun for me. <laughs> Later, I got married and, uh, you know, I have children, so you don't definitely want to make noise. And by the way, my husband's deaf. <laughs> and I'm not saying I ever faked it, really. I'm never going to say that. But if I was, I mean, if I did, while with my husband, this is really what it would look like. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.